As mentioned before, the God and Earth have developed their knowledge, wisdom, and education to a degree where they are able to help others as well as make a living. What sparked you to take this path? I got caught up on, this was the same age again, on Yahoo. Mm. Just, you know, surfing the net. And I came across the ICTC webpage. And that was the International Center for Tra- Traditional Childbearing. It no longer has another name now. Mama Shafia has her own business. But it just had, like, buku information on black midwives. And I just, I could not get off the webpage. And remember, back in the day, a webpage would have links and links to all type of stuff. You'd hit one link and go into just delve into something else. And I could not, I just kept returning, kept returning. My mother had always told me that, um, you know, my grandmother had her two oldest children at home before she moved up to Chicago. My mother was the first child my grandmother had that was delivered in the hospital. And so my mother with my baby brother, she had a midwife in the, in the hospital setting. So here, the word midwife wasn't foreign to me, but I just couldn't shake it. And I remember telling knowledge at the time, I said, I had already looked up the birth center that was in Lafayette. We hadn't even had no children yet. I was like, okay, this is the birth center we gonna go to, you know, just all of that. And um, I just knew that was something I eventually wanted to do. And really me becoming a doula was just a stepping stone for me to go towards midwifery because the reality was I wanted to know if I could handle being on call, if this was really something I wanted to do, work with mamas in that setting. And then just really knowing as well about the infant mortality and maternal mortality rates of black women and babies in the United States or how we was dying. Um, and how was how we're dying um, in this setting, and not just dying. Um, it's just not mortality rates; it's morbidity rates. You know, women going in in a postpartum period, they done said, "Hey, I've been feeling my chest hurt, this, that, and the other." You can't. You went in with 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 four limbs. Now you're leaving out the hospital with just two or mm-hmm. one because of how they've let sepsis sit in or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it don't, it's not even that we just dying, but the wounds we're having because of the hospital system and what they're doing on our bodies after we've mm. been, you know, we become a victim of that said system. And I just wanted to stop that. Ironically, um, the earth became more interested in um, wanting to explore this line of work from uh, involving herself in one of her other passions, which was genealogy. Mm. So she got really into genealogy because I would also talk about genealogy. That's another thing I should uh, probably uh-huh. talk to Bill with you about too. Okay. And then I end up fa- finding out after we had our third child at ho- home, uh, well, our second child at home, I found out that indeed my grandmother's grandmother was a midwife. Hmm. She was able to trace um, some relatives, a relative, a great grandmother or something, who was actually a midwife. And she um, caught my grandmother's children. And so I was like, okay, so that's why I couldn't shake it. So that's just, it's in my blood to, to do this work. So she chalked that up to, okay, I got it in the blood. It's in the DNA. Maybe this is why I have an interest in this. So I'm, I'm happy to do it. It's not easy, but even if I didn't get paid for it and I did once every year, I would do one every year. You know what I'm saying? A birth. And she, so she took that kind of a, as a sign that, you know, this is a, a work that she should, you know, go forward in. And so um, I'm just happy to be on this journey. She's been doing well with it. Um, she's been able to provide um, help to a lot of people in the uh, black community and the community is large, um, provide free services to our people, um, mm. you know, through grants, grants that she's written, um, grants that she's gotten because she hasn't wrote a grant, but people see the works, you know, so mm. um, she's done, you know, a lot of great work, you know, with that. If Mega did this.